Rebecca Fitzpatrick, is that her name? I don't know, that is. Get me uh, get to is going to be the one that I forget the name of. Hey guys, it's Jay and I'm here with my February TBR. I know I said I wasn't gonna do a February TBR, but I've discovered these amazing things called audiobooks. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. So now I get to read in February. Well, not really read, I get to listen in February, but I get to get books done, so I'm super excited. I actually read three other books in January that I didn't include in my wrap-up. I filmed that wrap-up like January 9th or something like that because I didn't think I would get to any more books, but then I discovered the audiobook, so I actually read three other books, so I will include those in my February wrap-up for you guys to know what I read. So without further ado, let us get started! So the first book I am planning on reading, I'm actually already halfway done, and that is Dive by Stacey Donovan. Stacey sent me this book for review. There's also going to be a giveaway on my channel, so stay tuned for that. I'm super excited about it. It's about a girl named Virginia. People call her V, and all these bad things are starting to go wrong in her life until she meets this girl named Jane, and everything just gets much more interesting. So far I'm enjoying it, it's pretty good. I'm excited to finish it because it's just starting to get interesting. It was kind of slow at the beginning, but I'm really enjoying it for what it is right now. The second book I'm hoping to finish in February is Cinder by Stephanie Meyer. I included this on the series that I want to read in 2016 video. You can look at it right there, card went went. I don't really think I need to go into what this is about because it's been on booktube for a million years now and winter just came out so everybody knows what Cinder is about so I'm not going to go into it. I've wanted to read this book for so long and I just never had the time or patience to read it. But I've discovered the audiobook version of it at my library. It's on hold right now. I'm behind one other person so I'm sure I will get to it and I will love it. The next book I'm hoping to get to is Dangerous Lies by Becca Fitzpatrick. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on this. It's about a girl named Stella Gordon, but that's not really her name. She was put into a witness protection program after she saw the man who killed her mother's drug dealer, and she got put in so that she can testify against him in trial. It's all about her trying to adjust to this new world and this new school and having to live a life that's not really hers. She begins to feel safe in this environment, but she probably shouldn't because her enemies are closer and then she thinks. It sounds so interesting. I'm on this like thriller kick right now. I can't stop reading thrillers. So I'm super excited about this one because it sounds amazing. The next book I'm hoping to get to is November 9 by Colleen Hoover. It's about a girl named Fallon and a boy named Ben who meet one day on November 9th. They decide that they're going to meet on the same day every year and see what happens and it sounds really interesting i've heard it's really controversial a lot of people don't like it a lot of people like it so i'm super excited to see what i think of it the next book is truth witch by susan dennard i don't think i need to get into what it's about because it's all over booktube right now but i've heard that it's amazing i also put it on hold at the library in audiobook format so hopefully i get it i think i'm behind like five other people though so might not happen but Fingers crossed that I get to read it because it sounds super cool. And the final book I am the most excited to read about. It's called The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tours. I've heard it's amazing. Raymeen just put up a review about it and it just sounds incredible so I like instantly had to go get the audiobook so I could read it. It's about a girl who locks herself in her apartment because she really likes murdering people and she wants to protect people so she locks herself in this room and it just sounds super interesting i'm giving like a super vague synopsis because i kind of want to go in to it not knowing that much but i think it's her decision about leaving or not and going back into the world and it just sounds super cool and i'm really excited to get to it all right guys so those were the books that i'm hoping to get to in february i will let you know in my wrap up which i enjoyed and which i didn't and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye! What's her name? I don't know her name. Sexual video camera.